Well, last week, the Erie County Department of Health announced two monkeypox vaccination clinics for this week. And this morning, we found out that all of those appointments have been booked now. Channel 2's Kelly Dudzik with the symptoms you need to be aware of and when you should see a doctor. The U.S. has almost 2,900 confirmed cases of monkeypox, with the first cases confirmed in Erie County last week. Dr. John Selick, the hospital epidemiologist at Kaleida Health, says one of the most important things to remember is that it's not going to spread the way we saw COVID spread. This does not spread easily uh, by respiratory droplets. Most of the spread is by direct contact uh, with either infectious lesions or perhaps with the clothing or, or towels or bed sheets of someone who has monkeypox. In the U.S., doctors are seeing monkeypox primarily spread through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact. Dr. Selick says people most at risk are people who have had multiple close sexual contacts, and symptoms usually start within three weeks of exposure. The first symptoms might look like other diseases, like a fever or chills. So when should you contact your doctor? Certainly, if you start getting uh, skin lesions that look like the ones that, um, you know, they, they've seen on TV and they've seen online, uh, the CDC website has uh, uh, many different pictures of uh, what these look like. They don't always, you know, they generally don't look like a typical rash. And while there are two vaccines available, Dr. Selick says doses are relatively limited at the moment, but there is good news for many out there. It turns out that... Um, uh, those of us old folk uh, have some advantage over you young folk is because all of us got a smallpox vaccine. And I actually had a, a second dose when I was in graduate school because of some research I was doing. And there's probably some cross protection there. Finally, Dr. Selick says to be sure to get information from reliable sources. Good places to start are the state health department and CDC websites. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.